Hi, I'm Liz Watts. I'm certified to work with small devices such as the iPod Touch. What we're going to talk about is DFU mode. Let's say that you have had a virus or if you have installed some software on your iPod that you don't want anymore or you're having a really big glitch. Your iPod will not be recognized by iTunes. You can't get it to do anything except tell you to plug it into iTunes. iTunes can't recognize it because the software has been corrupted. So the kind of the final step to getting iTunes to recognize that is to put your iPod into DFU mode. By doing this, you would hold down your sleep wake button and your home button for eight seconds or until the screen goes black. Once the screen has gone black, you release the sleep-wake button and you continue to hold down the home button. Because there's nothing wrong with this iPod, it's just going to restart. If there had been something wrong with the iPod, the iTunes symbol with a 30-pin connector, that's what you would have seen. However, in DFU mode, it would then tell you to plug it into iTunes. The next step from that would be to restore. You would still lose everything, but it's a way to get iTunes to recognize the device. So that's what DFU mode is. It's very rare that you have to use it, but if you're ever having a big enough problem where you need it, that's how you do it.